Hey guys, it's the, uh, still in the middle of March and uh, just have really nice weather for uh, at least the next four or five days. So I'm going to try to knock a project out and um, I'll take you along for a journey and kind of see before and after. And uh, we're starting with the before right now. Uh, the, project, the project in question is my deck. It's, uh, it's roughly um, 13 by 18 with a bump out in it. The, we moved in here in 95, so 17 years ago. And 17 years ago, this deck needed to be replaced. <laughs> it was built in the 70s. And uh, I've been kind of procrastinating. I'm good at that. <laughs> and uh, it's just to the point, it's just gone. I mean, it's just, I keep replacing boards, but if you look at it, I mean, you could probably put your foot right through it. I'm going to put my foot right through it. call me a liar anyway you can see what I'm pretty much working with over the years uh, you can I've been like patching different boards in as they're blown out here here I say there's probably about 20 or 30 of them in there there's a, there's a white one um, uh, about a month ago or so I had gotten a, uh, a pile of free lumber and the lumber is it was uh, window casings. It's a company that made glass windows. Do this. Yeah. So as you can see, I have a big pile of lumber here. And uh, I'm hoping that's going to be enough for my decking, but I think so. It's uh, thicker than what I got on here. What's on here probably looks like uh, that's got to be three quarter maybe and uh, that's five quarter so that should give us a little bit more stoutness to it what's nice is they're primed on all sides too so it'll help kind of protect it um, so we're gonna try to do this as cheap as possible because I'm cheap my supervisor is gonna hang out with me he's gonna uh, tell me where I erred in my ways so the thinking is I'm going to cut and rip off all the decking that you see here. I'll probably set up some pallets and I'll, I'll stack this stuff on pallets. And this is not pressure treated neither. Uh, I think it's just spruce that's on here. So we're going to kind of burn this for firewood kindling and uh, redeck it with that. But once I have everything off of here, I'm going to decide kind of like first of all what kind of condition that the pressure treated frame is in. And I may uh, beef it up too. I may double up the uh, the joist. It's got some bounce in the center of it. It basically hangs off the the family room wall there. And then there's a a header roughly right about here, probably about two feet in from the edge there. So uh, I kind of want to move the stairs too. Right now there's stairs going down to the center of the yard. I'm not sure if we're going to keep that same setup or we're going to change that around. My thinking is we're going to cut this corner off and then have the stairs kind of go down on the angle of the corner. But again, I don't draw anything out. I just pretty much make it up as I go along. There is a, if you go down around this corner, I built this deck probably about, I don't know, about eight or 10 years ago to enclose a hot tub enclosure. That of course we've used about three times and never used after that. But at the end of that, there is another set of stairs. So this is the way we can kind of go exit to the, uh, get into our cars. And then there's, then there's a porch over here, which I built when I first moved in. Again, 17 years ago. So I figured I'd just give you a little showing of what we got to start with. And then uh, as progression goes along, I'll do a little short videos and uh, show you how it's kind of coming along. I do have an awning off an old uh, camper that I put up here. It's actually the motorhome in the backyard. That awning, I guess, is like a, that's probably 14 foot, something like that. And that covers all the windows and the doors during the summertime and uh, makes for a nice space outside. So, all right guys, again, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll pop my radio back on and go get my skill saw out and start making a mess. Take care.